So I don't know where else we are in the Bible. We're in a lot of places. But we are definitely in 2 Timothy 3. I don't know if you have noticed the evil that has come upon men lately. <laughs> and they'll, I think it's a different scripture. since they'll call evil good and good evil. But And there will come a time where uh, the gospel will no longer be able to be preached. It will be so dark. And that we're getting upon that hour. So people need to get to it. But here is Second Timothy 3. I think you can all agree with me that we are here. Um, so I don't know about you. I mean, some of you may have greater surroundings or whatever. But pretty much anymore, I don't even want to be around human beings. They're so evil. I mean, even the people I meet in the church, there's so many, I don't know, I'm not trying to judge anybody, but I don't know. But here it is, Second Timothy. Ah! But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. And from such people turn away. For of this sort are those who creep into households and make captives of gullible women loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janez and Jambres resisted Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds disapproved concerning the faith, but they will progress no further, for their folly will be manifest to all as theirs also was. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions, which happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured. And out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work.